I'm Charles Brock and welcome to Maloof Inspired Rocking Chairs. Today we're going to take a look at the Agazani 20 inch bandsaw. It's a great saw to use to build a Maloof Inspired Rocking Chair. Come with me as we evaluate this saw and see why it might be the saw or one like it to help you build your very own Maloof Inspired Rocking Chair. One thing that can be one of the most irritating things in operating a bandsaw is when you have to change the blade. I would only rate this saw as mediocre. It is a little irritating to change the blade. But with this saw, you start out by using an Allen wrench right there under the, the slot in the table. You loosen a little piece of hardware it pivots to the side. That really doesn't take too long. And I've got the door open right now. There is a little folding door that folds up and covers the blade. It's kind of a, a blade guard, which is very, very important. And the, uh, you open that door, and then you loosen the tension on, on the wheel itself with that big black knob there in the middle. And then the blade will come off of the wheels. You pull it off, fold it up, which if you don't know how to fold a bandsaw blade yet, uh, can be rather dangerous. But there's a, uh, I'm sure on, on a, another issue of uh, Maloof inspired rocking chairs, I'll show you how to fold up a bandsaw blade. Uh, it, this saw also has a, a fence, and you're going to need a fence. Uh, this has a high-low fence. Right now it's set in the low position. You can uh, flip that extrude, extruded, excuse me, extruded piece of aluminum over and attach it to the uh, fence rail, and it will be a tall fence for resawing or whatever you need to do that needs uh, a, a lot of support on the side. Uh, this fence can also be uh, adjusted for bandsaw blade drift. Um, and in another installment I'll show you what uh, blade drift is and show you how to use the fence to uh, attack that problem. It's something that you've got to, to work at each time before a major cut to make sure that the uh, work doesn't just drift away and come clear of the line that you're trying to cut uh, in the work. Also, on a good bandsaw, you'll see right here we have a, a port on the side that allows for dust extraction. Dust has to be extracted from from the cut as well as possible uh, so that the the gullets as they come through and rake out uh, the wood fibers they're removed and don't clog up the, the machine or don't clog up the blade. It's very important. This saw not only has one uh, one very nice as you'll see there with you as you see there with the, the black hose attached uh, very appropriately right up under the blade. Uh, it has a, a nice port there, but around back there is port number two. Resawing this bandsaw is really a dream. Um, this is kind of a resawing project here when I cut the crest rail for the rocking chair. This is kind of a, a hefty piece of wood um, and it starts out, it's, I usually use about uh, a 10 quarter piece of, of walnut or maple and I've got to cut, as you see, this arc in each side, this radius, and I've got to do it standing on edge. Now the Agazani 20 inch bandsaw 
provides me with 13 inches in height adjustment there. This is about a 7 inch uh, tall cut here. It does it with ease. Um, I highly recommend Highland Woodworkings wood slicer blades. I've used them even with underpowered 12 inch bandsaws and done a great job of resawing. Well, that's it for choosing a bandsaw. There are plenty of great bandsaws out there. The Agazani is, is one of my favorites. The Laguna is outstanding. The, the Rikon makes a, a great new saw. They're sort of a new player. Steel City has an 18, 20 inch saw. It's very good. Of course, there are plenty of old Powermatics and, and jets out there. Uh, make a good choice. You can even build a chair like this on a 12 inch saw or a 14 inch saw with a riser block. A lot of good choices. Remember to use a good sharp blade and to always wear your safety glasses. For more information go to my website www.charlesbrockchairmaker.com